Okay, this is a piece of tool steel. We're gonna do a letter Q. We'll mark it at 200 millimeters per second, 90% power, and 20 kilohertz frequency. I'm gonna do three different hatches. One's gonna be at 45 degrees, the next is gonna be at 90 degrees, and the final one will be at 315 degrees. And we're gonna mark for depth, so this is gonna go for a while. Light it to see what it looks like. Let's put it right there. And let's go. All right, it's been about a minute, let's stop that. So 200 millimeters per second, 90% power, and 20 kilohertz frequency. That's about two minutes. And so we'll take that down to the indicator and see if there's any difference in depth. I wanna change this to lower power, let's say 50% power, much higher frequency, let's say 35 and speed of 1000. And we'll do the same cue if we can fit it. I'd like to do it on the same area. Well, that's not great. Let's just shrink it a little bit. There we go. And I want this to be kind of a non-destructive mark, just enough to make it appear sort of like you would see on an end mill or a, a crimp tool or something like that. So this won't be continuous. I'm only gonna do this uh, one time and there is going to be a hatch to it. In fact, I think I'll turn the power down to 30% just to see what that looks like. Let's do it. I should have turned off the outline, but... It's kind of an interesting look. I want to do one more without the outline. Okay, let's put it right there. It's kind of a neat look. You don't want it to be too extreme. All right, let's run this indicator across the queue and see how deep we actually got. Sort of set that near zero. So we initially have a little bit of a ridge right there at the edge of the queue. And once we get in there, we're down about, what, a thousandth and a half, something like that, back to the ridge where it goes up about two thousandths, one, two, two, oh, three thousandths. And then we're pretty close to eh, two and a half thousand, so then back to about zero. So I'd say that depth at one minute marking, 200 millimeters per second, 90% power, 20 kilohertz frequency. And this is some kind of tool steel. I can't remember if it's A2 or S7. And this is a 20 watt laser, um, one, 150 by 150 millimeter marking area. That is about one and a half thou deep. Now doing the same thing, but coming over here, 
and this was what double the time this is two minutes right but the exact same settings let's just set that to zero for the sake of simplicity pretty close so we're down one two two and a half thou just above zero just below two and a half thou so that's pretty good depth And what did our little non-destructive mark do? Almost nothing and slightly, yeah, it's slightly raised, but almost nothing. Okay, let's do one more. Let's put a tiny cue inside the cue we just made and see if we can get deep. I don't know if we'll be able to measure that. Well, let's do that and then let's just do a circle in the other queue. So I'm going to slow this down to 100 millimeters per second. And it's going to be 90% power again and 20 kilohertz frequency. And we'll keep our same three hatches as before. Show up right there. Stop. Mark. Okay, that's about a minute. Well, it's definitely got a burn mark around it. Looks deep. Now I'm just going to do a circle over here in the other queue, about the same size. That way we can actually get the indicator tip in there. Okay, same power settings, same speed settings, same three hashes. And since this is in the two minute queue, let's do it in the two minute queue. Remember the only difference is that this is 100 millimeters per second as opposed to 200 that we did previously. That's about two minutes. I think that's big enough to get the indicator tip in there. We'll find out. All right, back to our surface plate. Let's run the indicator over the little Q, and this is the same settings as the big Q, except it's going half speed. So 100 millimeters per second. That might be a little bit tough to get a reading. This looks pretty small. Yeah, I don't know if I'm getting in there. Let's go over to the circle, which is also pretty small. It looks too small. But boy, that is deep. I can see the depth of that. There, it's sunk down. I think that's the max the ball can go down. But you can see it's sunk down, what, five more, ten? So that's deeper than ten thousandths. I don't know if you can pick it up on this.